Okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whatever it is. So today I'm supposed to be doing a bucket pour. There's a challenge on someone's page. I can't remember your name. Please don't be offended. So I have a 9 by 12 canvas. And I figure this is a bucket for that canvas. So what I've done already, I've already mixed most of my paint. I have covered the back, which I usually never do, of my canvas with painter's tape. And I know this is probably going to be crooked, but I think it's the only way the closest I can get level is for the canvas to be turned because I've turned the base every which way I know how. We had a question yesterday about how much medium you use to how much paint. Today I'm using Elmer's glue as my painting, my medium. And I'm using Creative Inspirations acrylic color, the red and the yellow and black and this is the cerulean blue if I'm saying it correctly and you'll notice how thick if it'll come out see how thick that paint is and it's really densely pigmented 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 <laughs> I got stuff stuck everywhere as you know I've been dabbling with the resin and believe it or not my area right here is cleaned up so I'm going to just stir this in you can see how dark it is mixed with the Elmer's glue and it's also very thick and it seems like with the creative inspirations the more you stir into the Elmer's glue the thicker it gets See there you can almost just use that as a medium body paint on canvas. So of course I'm going to add water. Now I don't measure my water. I just put it in you know to the consistency I think it should be. And what I noticed when I was mixing earlier is I tend to mix every color a different consistency. I'll make one a little bit thinner and there's no method to that madness. Uh, it just comes to cleaner lines, dirty lines, it's really whatever your preference is. Now this is pretty much what everybody seems to be striving for, it's like melted honey, a super heavy cream. So I'm going to leave that one like this. Um, I'm also using house paint, white house paint in this project and it is I buy the Valspar perfect samples it's meant to be tinted this one is pastel base but I do not have it tinted I just get the pure white and this is mixed with Elmer's glue and water and it is my paint I'm afraid my camera's going to die so I'm going to do this rather quickly. And no, Jennifer, I don't have my gloves on. So I'm just going to spread this around. And since I, it was in a container and I shook it, of course there's bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, oil and trouble. Now you guys, somebody suggested I do primary colors. I have an excess of primary color, so I was very glad of that to be able to uh, actually use enough paint to uh, flood this canvas all at once and see what happens. Now, these canvas are pre primed. I didn't put anything on them, but sometimes they just don't want to cover. Get my paper towels here. I'm trying to save on my clothes. I've been really good the past month. I've not messed up any clothes. 
I actually had to separate and hide my work clothes from my paint clothes. I messed up and wore paint clothes to work one day. They were clean, but they were awful. Painting is expensive. <laughs> Okay, I've got a fan going. I hope that's not too. Just for fun, I'm gonna. Yeah, there's a bunch of bubbles coming out. <laughs> I use the big bag torch. Okay, as of right now, I haven't put anything in my paints, but I'm going to. I'm going to put <coughs> Rain-X glass water repellent in two of my colors and I think I'm going to put it in the yellow and no I don't measure and I don't count drops that's just from my experience and I'm going to put some in the black because I like for the black to lace a little and there is none in the white generally I put nothing in my base absolutely not because if it's oil based like silicone or something then uh, you're going to have those spots on canvas that <clears throat> it doesn't want to cover. And now I'm going to use some of Rick Cheadle's wonderful, wonderful blaster silicone in my blue. I'm going to give that about 10 stirs. These have my um, water repellent, the glass X. One, two, three, four. Whoops, I almost messed up. I'm gonna mix those in a little. All right. Now where did my quote unquote bucket go? This has resin in it, so it's pretty good to go. Probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to anyway. I'm going to sit that right there. There's my white. As usual. I'm going to put white in first. Pretty good bit. Give it a squirt. And let's put a little black. Not much because the black will take over. And that's probably going to mud. So for grins, oh, it went to the bottom. That's okay. And I'm going to put some blue. I like primaries because it's really hard to get mud. And my red. yellow just works on that let's go with the red again I'm use it all I had blue in this cup previously and it knotted up and so there may be some chunks some snot boogers maybe not Let's do this blue next to the red and yellow. I'm going to do a little more white just on top. And then come in here with some black. Okie dokie. This should be interesting. To get everything out of the way that can possibly get stuck to the paint or mixed up. And it said bucket pour. It didn't say what kind. So I'm just going to flip the cup. <laughs> I don't think that's level now. 
some see the canvas is trying to come bare some places it'll be okay though I ain't worried about it so if you guys want to do the challenge you're supposed to hashtag it somehow I'm not real sure you can look at I posted it earlier and I thank you for everybody being so patient while I was doing that huge uh, resin pour. Oh, I got a bunch of yellow left and a bunch of black. Not much red. And, you know, I probably didn't even need to put a base coat down, but we have it. All right, are we ready? Ready, ready, Freddy. Oh, it's sealed tight. Little trick I learned. Don't set stuff on fire, but a little heat. I'm liking it. things going on in there. So, there's my bucket pour. Got some neat drippings down here too. I'll cover this corner where I touched it. I'm quite pleased with it. I hope you guys like it. Now I've got to find, I've got to take it over to my drying rack because this is obviously not level and I don't want to lose any of it. Let me get you down. I've got you on the tripod. Uh, the big camera is at my job. Well, it's not my job anymore. But let me get you down here and let's try and get a close-up. I didn't realize that the glare was so bad. Sorry about that. And again, it's primary colors, creative inspirations with white house paint, rain -X, and blaster silicone spray. And that's it for this afternoon. See ya.